Where'd Tommy go? Is this my man Cameron? Yes. How you doing, Coach I'm doing Jones? great, man. How are you? I'm doing good. Welcome to the University of Notre Dame. Thank you. We have a young man. His name is Cameron Kessler. He's from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and uh, he's uh, had a wish, and he had a uh, kidney uh, transplant. And what he wanted to do is spend one day with Notre Dame football. That was his wish. But what we're going to do is we're going to give him three days. And so today it will be a tour of our facility. You get a chance to sit down with our head football coach, go to a team meeting with our entire team. You get a chance to go to some position meetings, okay. go to practice. It's going to be awesome. Right. That, sound? that sounds great. All right, let's go this way. Coach Kelly. Hey, how are you? Cameron. Good. Good you to doing? meet you. Nice to, very nice to meet you, too. Absolutely. Thank you. Grab a seat. Oh, thank you, Coach. So my son, Big Cam, is uh, now 15, and he has been the biggest Notre Dame fan since uh, I think he's been about two or three. And he absolutely loves not just the football game, which of course is uh, the biggest deal, uh, but the game day culture for us. It's an incredible way for us uh, to get Cam a little bit away from uh, some of the medical challenges that he faces. About. Yesterday was a great moment for Cam and his, and his parents and you know Cam was so fired up and excited it probably didn't occur to him but to his parents it was, uh, it was a dream come true and a dream that they probably feared would never happen. Um, those moments are really special. And, and very emotional. When you walked in to the team meeting, here's you know, Cam has been such a Notre Dame fan. I hope they realize how special they've made him feel, and to walk down those steps and have our heroes, our heroes, uh, applaud us. Uh, was uh, very, very humbling. We are in deep, deep gratitude to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and to the great people here at Notre Dame. It was very unexpected. We did not have any idea when we walked in that room we thought we were going to stand in the back of a meeting. And to, to treat him as one of their own was very special for all of us. It's indescribable, the feeling. He won his, his wish was to spend one day with you guys. That's awesome. Thanks again. One of the things that I thought was really cool um, was the way our team reacted to camp. We have great kids at Notre Dame. That's one of the, the best parts of this job is is the character and the kind of person that comes to play at Notre Dame or uh, be becomes fully developed at Notre Dame. And um, for our team to give him a standing ovation was really uh, affirming to me that, that we are on the right track here. This is a special place for a lot of reasons. How you doing? Hi, Joey. How are you? How are you? Hi, Caitlin. My husband. Hi, That's my father, but my when uh, Cam and his family came to, to Notre Dame, one of the things um, that they had planned was for me to get a chance to talk to him because of similar experience. So Cam, I'm one of the defensive backfield coaches. How you doing? Okay. And I had a kidney transplant in February. So yes. that's that's the connection. Yes, we saw that. And this was my this is my wife. She shepherded me through it like your mom did. You know, when you had yours. Now, yours was a long time ago. Yes. Right? yes. How old were you when you had yours? Three. Uh, so it was, it was an enlightening period for me when I got a chance to talk to the family. It really was heartwarming to see uh, how that family has seen him through this and, and how he came out of it. Meeting Coach Elliott was very special because here's a gentleman that I think Cam can absolutely relate to. 
if Coach Elliott can be Coach Elliott at Notre Dame with a kidney transplant, with similar medical challenges that Cam has had, I think Cam looks at that and says, I can do that. I can be like him. I don't have to be a kidney transplant patient. I can be what I want to be. Well, thank you. Oh. You're my hero, man. Oh. I'm going to be asking you here, questions because right? you're yeah, further out than I am. When I see Coach Elliott coaching, it makes me think of, you know, how people who have been transplanted, how they can do anything they want. Coaching, you know, it's inspiring many other players, people, anybody, how he's inspired me, how he came down and, you know, he uh, took me through everything that this team does, and it was amazing. He gave me hope that, you know, people who have been transplanted can coach, you know, obviously looking at him, but it just definitely gave me hope that, you know, I can be around the sport even though I can't play it and I can, you know, I can be involved with it. You tell your children to dream. You can do anything you want. And with Cameron, that was the key. You can't play football. You can't play contact sports. And that, that's, that's something hard. You never want to tell your kids you can't do something. What's up, Swanky? So to see him down there and the way they opened their arms to him uh, was amazing. It was just, you know, it, 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 it touches your heart. How you doing, Coach? Chuck Martin, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. Appreciate coming to hang with oh, us. Oh, it's a, it's a privilege. Yeah, it's a privilege for us, too, to be here. Trust oh. me. We feel the same way. God, there's no place like Notre Dame. I hear you. I hear you. Enjoy. All right, I'll see All right, you later. Thank you, Coach. So we got a chance to see what it's like on a Thursday practice as we try to screw it down and do everything perfect. Then you got a chance to see what Focus Friday was like when we are the day before the game. Cool thing about this practice is we do a sub drill. Where we substitute each each player by name. So if uh, if I was in a game, I would come out and I would say Jones out, and then the next person that come in, if it was Cameron, they would say Cameron in. So Coach Kelly <clears throat> pulled a prank on our special teams coach, Coach Scott Booker, and uh, when practices ended, Coach said, "Time, time, time. We have one more uh, special substitution." That was really, really cool for Friday and went over to the pep rally. Again, I told you he was uh, becoming a star. So when we got over to the pep rally, they had him up front with all our leaders of our team and Coach Kelly obviously was up front. And at the end of the pep rally, Coach Kelly again acknowledged the special someone that was with us. We have a special guest with us tonight that I want to introduce to you. Through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which I'm sure many of you are aware of, we have a young man here that had a wish. His wish was to be part of the Notre Dame pep rally. He came in yesterday with his family. He's dealing with chronic kidney disease, and he's been a battler, and he's wanted to be part of the Notre Dame football weekend. And he's came in yesterday. He's been part of a practice. Uh, he was at with Mass with us today. He's here with us today. His name is Cameron Kessler, and I want to introduce him to you because he's one tough young man. Cameron Being on stage, it, there was nothing like, a lot of people were, you know, my dad looked at me and said, you're my hero. You only live once and not a lot of people get to do that. So I went out and I did the best I could to make that memorable. Cameron and his family here and uh, it's been a great weekend and we're going to cap it off with a great win against Navy. So again, thank you for being out here tonight. Great venue here at the Compton Ice Arena. We'll be back here again. Thank you so much. Go Irish! kid has some personality and again he was inspiring us as we went through the weekend. It was now becoming we're going to go out here and play for Cam and we're going to do everything we can to try to beat Navy so that it can cap off his experience. I think you learn as a parent 
of one or in our case two chronically ill children, it's day by day and you're never guaranteed a great day tomorrow. So you have to take advantage of each and every day. And I would tell you that in our family, we look to take advantage of every single day. And I think our two boys and our daughter have learned greatly from that. So uh, every day is a special day. Every day is a very, very lucky day for us. Notre Dame football means so many things to so many people. But what it means to me is it has this power that can help and heal. By just simply including other people. And we did something really simple here, <laughs> very simple, and that was included. That walk is very inspiring. And if you've never done it before and seen it from the outside, it is a whole different experience when you're walking down that corridor. Ready to go? The fact that we got a chance to walk part of it together was, was really special, but uh, that was special for me. I'm not sure it was special for him. He was just having a great time. He didn't care who he was walking next to. Walking into the stadium with Coach Elliott, that was amazing. I mean, just walking into Notre Dame Stadium. I mean, this place is already special, but walking into the stadium, you know, with the team, with Coach Elliott, it was a privilege, definitely a privilege. This whole weekend has been amazing. I cannot thank the Notre Dame staff, all the people who have reached out to us and helped us. And also, I cannot thank my mom enough for giving me the kidney and how she stepped down and she, she gave me the kidney, which was truly amazing. <laughs>